Bye. Surgery went very well. It took an hour and a half, just like we planned. It was a, a near complete tear of the rotator cuff, starting on the bottom and actually working its way to the top. So we took her to the operating room and we put her to sleep and sat her on the operating room table in the so-called beach chair position. And then we examined her shoulder when she's asleep and she definitely had a frozen shoulder. Obviously it's been painful so she's not been able to move it as well as she would like to. This is a picture of the undersurface of the rotator cuff. This is like the frayed tissue which is should look like normally like a curtain, like a curtain at a theater. The coming down and attaching to the ball it should be very smooth. Instead we see this, how it's frayed and degenerative and we fix that. She definitely did have significant tearing of her biceps tendon as well. This is actually her biceps tendon right here and you can see the fraying of the tendon there. And we end up just releasing that. You know you have two biceps tendon muscles and the tendons that can do the same job. So releasing one of the tendons really does not cause any severe um, deficit as far as function or range of motion. Actually, it should help her because she'll have less pain. She had developed what we call some adhesions that shows a very inflamed capsule, red and angry looking. We tear some of those adhesions loose and it makes you feel them snap, like almost like a rubber band snapping. We were able to do everything arthroscopically. I'm so thirsty. So will she have a shorter recovery period? I hope so. We are still making incisions in the skin and tugging the rotator cuff and pulling it back down to where it belongs and drilling holes in the bone. So. It'll still be sore. Basically, we create a webbing, a netting that holds the tendon down to the bone, and the tendon and the bone have to grow back together. And that takes around three months, really.